Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Today what you're looking at here is some tambran, or as it's known down in the Caribbean as tambran. But what we're going to do, we're going to use the pulp from this. So we're going to peel these back, um, take the flesh out of it. I've already cracked one here, but we're going to take the, fr the flesh out of it. And we're going to make a spicy little treat. Now, if you want, you can use the pepper. Um, if you don't want it spicy, by all means, don't use the hot pepper. But here's the pepper I'm talking about. I've got a, a scotch bonnet pepper here. I won't be using all of it, but I'll be using a fair amount of it. Um, just to spice things things up. I've got some garlic here. Um, just a couple cloves we'll, we'll be using. Um, this is just, uh, I usually buy this pre-peeled sometimes. It makes it look easier to work with. And some brown sugar. I got some uh, golden brown sugar here. We're going to need a fair amount of that. And all we're going to do is we're going to create a spicy paste with the pepper and the garlic to which we'll add the pulp of the tamarind as well as and make into little balls uh, using the brown sugar. So stay tuned and uh, I'll show you guys um, as usual step by step. So basically the next step here is to crush. I have here about half of that uh, scotch bonnet pepper that I showed you earlier. A couple cloves of garlic and what I'm going to use is um, I'm going to pretty much crush this into a fine paste but to help it um, to crush to a smooth paste. What I'll do is I'll sprinkle in uh, a little bit of the sugar in there just to give it some grit um, to help it crush into that paste that we're looking for. So this is the, uh, the results of after crushing that pepper and garlic. Um, I also use some of the brown sugar as I mentioned to give it a bit of a, some grit to um, help crush it up. This may look like a lot of pepper but what I did was I used more of the flesh of the pepper and not so much the inside like the the seeds and stuff like that because that's where most of the heat is. I, what I want here is a, some of the heat but more flavor than anything else. Now remember if you don't want to put hot peppers in there feel free not to do so but it gives it a, a really good kick and I think that's a traditional way of doing it as well. What we're gonna do now is um, with the <clears throat> With a tambourine, we're gonna take it off the shell and get the pulp, um, all the the insides, the flesh, into here, and then we're gonna add some sugar and get going with making the actual tambourine balls. So what I'm doing now, I'm just gonna show you guys. What I've done is remove the the flesh from the sort of hard exterior of the tambourine. Um, these tambourine are pretty small. The ones we get in the Caribbean are maybe about twice the size and, uh, and length as well as thickness. And all you do is um, you break the shell open. There's going to be some stringy parts like this. You want to take that out. Just try not to get any of the little pieces left back or that's going to um, cause it to be crunchy and you really don't want to get that in there. And that's what we're going to be doing for the, for the tambourine. Now if you can get uh, tambourine pulp, feel free to use that as well. You won't have to do this sort of messy job that I'm doing here and um, it works very well. I've broken up the pulp into small pieces, um, the tamarind pulp. And what we have here is about a cup and a half of brown sugar. What we're going to do, and we're going to add maybe a couple tablespoons of water to this just to help it all stick together. Um, we're going to make balls anywhere the size of a golf ball or smaller. Make sure you get pulp. Um, mix everything up first maybe with a spoon so you get the pepper, the garlic, um, everything combined and we're going to make some small balls. Like I said maybe a, a ping pong uh, ping pong tennis ball or a golf ball. Using a tablespoon what I did was um, I stirred everything quite well to pick up all that pepper and garlic at the bottom. And you're going to see they're already forming uh, a sort of a, a ball shape as you can see here. Um, so the next step what we're going to do is we're going to add some water to this. Like I said anywhere from one to two tablespoons of water. And then using our hands. Remember this is there's pepper in here. Um, the scotch bonnet peppers. So you may want to wear some gloves uh, when doing this step. I ended up adding a little bit too much water to the mixture here so I had to add another uh, half cup of uh, brown sugar 
just so it wasn't too soggy, just so it holds all the shape. And I've made five of those balls, the tambourine balls here. And um, the next and final step we're gonna do is, uh, what we're gonna do is to have some granulated sugar, some white sugar. We're just gonna roll these balls <coughs> in this white sugar, just to give it a sort of a white, um, a finishing touch. And this is it guys, tambourine balls, or tambourine ball as it's called down in, uh, in the Caribbean. Spicy, sweet, savory, uh, just about one of the most uh, sweet dishes, well, not dishes, but uh, snack or dessert that um, you can find down on the islands. We usually buy this at uh, recess time in uh, high school, primary school, and again, spicy, garlicky, sugar, tamron, or tamron. And I'm just going to go ahead and make out the other ones here that I have here. But I thought I'd show you the finished product. Tamron wall, guys. Give it a try. It's, uh, it gets your taste buds going. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Remember to check out the, video, the other videos in the channel here. And do uh, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Guys, I appreciate all your support. So please, um, check the website, CaribbeanPod.com, for more recipes.